This is the Navisworks Jetstream Beginner Training Module Basic Lighting and Textures. This module will get you up and running with Presenter for the first time. By the end of this module, you'll know how to drop textures and lighting into your model and produce a photorealistic rendering. You'll be taking this simple CAD model of a simple gatehouse and then we'll work it up to get a result like this. These simple concepts will give you all the skills you need to work effectively with Presenter on your own models. So let's start by opening the basic untextured gatehouse model and then bringing up the Presenter window. So select File, Open from the menu bar and select gatehouse.nwd. Now as long as you've got a Presenter license, you can start a Presenter by selecting Tools, Presenter. Our recommended way of working presenter is to have it docked at the bottom of the screen. So let's just close down this comments dialog and dock presenter down there. Now before you start adding in materials, you may need to change something called selection resolution. Now you can think of this in simple terms as how much of the model is selected when you click on something. For example, if you click on a window, the selection resolution will determine if you're selecting that particular glass pane, all of the windows in the module, that whole floor of the building, or even the entire module. So in Tools, Global Options, you see the selection resolution here, we want to make sure it's set to Last Object. Now once that is, just click OK to close down the Global Options dialog. Now that's all set up, let's apply your first texture. Now make sure we're on the Materials tab in Presenter, open up the recommended library of materials and select the Paving folder and drag the grey paving into the palette on the right. This palette on the right will show all materials we're currently working with in this model. So to apply this, we just need to drag this grey paving material from our palette onto the floor of the gatehouse module. It should highlight blue as you drag it over. Now that's all it takes to add textures into your model. A couple of drag and drop operations. Before we move on, let's just have a brief look at two other ways you can apply textures. Presenter has a very flexible workflow, so you can choose a method that fits you and your model best. Open the recommended library again and look at Bricks folder. We want to drag red brick into the palette on the right. On the left here we have the selection tree which if you'll expand you'll see all the layers of the original CAD model. So if we just find S brick facing. Now you should see all of the model's external walls highlighted in blue. Depending on how your model is built in the CAD software, layers can be a very useful way to apply materials across a whole model drag the red brick from the palette onto S brick facing in the selection tree. Now if you just press the escape key on the keyboard you can deselect the layer and see the applied texture. Now the final method we're going to look at allows you to apply material to multiple objects at the same time even if they're not on the same layer. Again in the recommended library we look in the glass folder this time and drag window glass into the palette on the right. Click on the select tool in the navigation bar and select the side windows of the gatehouse. One click should select them all as they're grouped together. Now if you hold down the control button on the keyboard and click on other windows around the model to add them to this selection. Now finally to apply the material to all these windows you just highlighted right click on window glass in the palette and choose apply to selected items on the context menu that's just appeared. So that's all we're going to cover on materials now. If you look through the folders on the left of the Materials tab, you'll see we've included a large collection of materials for you to work with. Using your choice of these techniques, you can apply them to your whole model. Before continuing, feel free to pause this tutorial and use your new skills to add additional materials to the model. Next, we're going to look at lighting. Thankfully, this is even simpler, as we include a default lighting setup that will work well with most models. Switch to the Lighting tab and in the recommended library drag standard light studio into the palette on the right. Double click on the distant light to bring up the configuration dialog and make sure shadows is ticked. Close that down and that's it. This predefined light studio will replace all the lights in the scene and will instantly give you a basic external lighting set for your model. We'll look at internal lighting in the next module of this guide but if you're just doing external images, that one drag and drop operation is all you need to get a good set of lights. You're nearly done. You just need to change the background so it's a bit more appealing than that plain black. Switch to the effects tab. From here, we can add in a background to our model. And if you look in recommended backgrounds in the library, you'll find all sorts of background images that we can use. However, for this model, we really want something that's a bit more simple. So open templates, 
backgrounds, and drag graduated into the palette on the right. Double click on graduated in the palette so we can customize it slightly. And we just want to change that top color from black to a nice lighter shade of blue. And that's it, we're done preparing the model. And all that's left is to produce a render and see how it looks. It's not quite finished yet, and as you can see, some areas are still their default colors. If you just add some additional materials from the recommended materials library, you can improve on that to get a result much more like this.